In this video, we'll cover strategies for covering loads in the spot market. We'll list out the priorities and what you're up against negotiating with dispatchers and carriers. I'm Benjamin Kowalski with Freight360, where we provide the latest transportation sales tips and training videos to help you reach your goals faster. If you're a fan of the content, please support us by smashing that like button below and sharing us with all of your colleagues. In most cases, we're focusing or prioritizing on rates. At least that's where the conversations seem to end up, especially for newer brokers. Meaning that most rookies, when covering a load, tend to only negotiate and discuss the rates of the load, the price per mile or the total spot rate. And why is this? Well, it's usually because it's really the only variable that's important to the carrier. But is it? And why do we always end up haggling over the rate and not discussing much else about the load? Well, it's because that's the only variable that the carrier or dispatcher want you to think actually matters. But let's dig into what are some of the other important aspects of the load for a carrier. And the first is the direction of the load and the total miles. Carriers and drivers usually have other customers every week. They will usually have some local shippers maybe that they start their week with that are close to their yard, or they may have the same loads in the middle or the end of the week repetitively. And over time, as carriers run more and more freight and build better relationships with both shippers and brokers, they acquire more of these dedicated lanes. And this is important because we never really know where that specific truck is coming from or where it's going to next, right? And most people early on in their brokerage careers aren't asking these questions when we're negotiating. So we don't know if we may have the perfect load that fits where they need to go and from where they are coming from, or if we have one that just doesn't fit their schedule at all. And it should be no surprise that if we do happen to have that perfect load that delivers on the right time of the right day and the right zip code, that could be much more valuable to that driver or carrier than a few hundred extra dollars. So you should always be starting each negotiation by asking where the driver is actually looking to go. For instance, if they call in on, we'll say a Memphis to Chicago lane, I'll begin by saying, Hey, how's it going? Hey, out of curiosity, where's your driver looking to go? Any specific mileage he's looking for? The reason I ask is that I've got a handful of loads available headed out of Memphis. Some I got headed north, some I got headed south, west, and to be honest, we could probably even ask the shipper if they've got something going east if that would be best for him. Then pause and just listen. If you present the situation as a buffet where the dispatcher or driver can pick their top choices, you'll increase the amount of information you have. And anytime you increase what you know, you're slowly leveling the playing field. Remember that negotiations are mostly about information. Who has how much and when do they have it? The more questions you can ask in a negotiation, the more leverage you have over the rate at the end of the day. If you have the perfect load for that specific driver, they're never going to just come right out and tell you. Why? Because it's in their best interest to keep that information to themselves so that they can sell you on how difficult your load is, that the destination is terrible, that the load is too heavy or difficult to secure. A great test to remember this is that if you're discussing rate and only the rate, the carrier is controlling the conversation and likely to come out on top of that negotiation. For more tips and training, be sure to watch our weekly podcast on our channel and check out the description and links for the group and private coaching. Because remember, whether you believe you can or believe you can't, you're right. <laughs>